start the recording so welcome everybody today is april the 4th 2020 and this is korea channeling this is a very auspicious um, day it's actually the auspicious beginning to a period of a good nine days starting tomorrow uh, i'll talk to you you all more about that about the the um, because we are actually experiencing seeing some very supportive celestial alignments which means that for the next nine days we are actually riding on a wave of very very high energies I'm not saying that there will be lower energies after I'm just saying that these next nine days will be particularly high so that's why it's um, really important to set an intention for the next nine days how to um, really take a stand to upgrade your own thinking and all of that it's all um, the start is the next nine days and to just once you have the the experience of being very conscientious in keeping yourself in high vibration for the next nine days, then it'll be much easier after that. So let's begin this channeling of Kriya, the entity Kriya, just by tuning inwards. So let's just have a short meditation before I go into that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everybody for joining me. And thank you for spirits to be here with us. Thank you for everything that we have in our lives. Thank you for having a roof over our heads. Thank you for the food on the table. Thank you for each other. And then just start by putting yourself at ease just by following your own breath. So just breathe in slowly and effortlessly. And when you can breathe in no more than just gently allow your breath to leave you. And then breathe in again. And the more you allow yourself to just focus on your breathing. And also focus on elongating your breathing in and breathing out as well. That will put you, I will start to activate the relaxation in your body it will start to deactivate your flight or fight response and start to de-stress yourself if you haven't already then take this chance to shift your body a little bit so that you can sit or lie down comfortably and just experiment with different way of holding your body so that you can feel more of the relaxation coming through you And as you start to feel relaxation starting to take over your body and start to focus, shift your focus from your head into your heart. It is a very sh subtle shift. To start to 
focus on your heart and focus on whatever is happening in your heart area. You may be breathing in, just imagine you're breathing in to your heart. Or you may imagine that as you focus on your heart more that you can actually feel a light weight of your own attention and energy starting to build up in your heart area. And also start to use your heart to tune in and be connected with everyone else that is on the call right now or listening to this recording at whatever time it is. Because time is really just a construct, a human construct. There truly is no time at all. There is only this moment. We can only ever be in this moment. And being in this moment is a very easy shift, subtle shift. And it is a big shift as well. It's being in this moment allow us to be the best creator that we can ever be. It is when we are in this moment that we can start to tap into and unravel the mystery that is ourselves. It is only in this moment that we can feel the connection, we can feel who we truly are in the fabric of the universe. It is only in this moment that we can feel that we are one with the universe. We are simply a consciousness floating in an energy that we think of as the universe. And how we interpret the universe really depends on the level of our consciousness. At the most basic level, we are aware of our body. We are aware of other playmates that are with us on the same playground. But when we move past that, when we start to merge with the rest of creation, we will feel and start to have access to all the other observation points. We can start to see from the eyes of a bird that is seemingly outside of us, or we can start to see from the eyes of a tree that seems to be outside of us. The truth is there is nothing outside of us. 
they are all just different aspect of us. We are all and everything. We just move our consciousness our observation point from one to the other. We can actually start to observe from the eyes of another person if that is what we choose to do. And that person does not even need it to be somebody that is alive or seemingly alive the same time that we are, we can actually go back in time to observe through the eyes of people who have already quote unquote passed away. Because all of that is simply a story that person that seems to be passed away already, it's simply another vantage point. And when you really grasp what this ability can do for you, you know that it gives you unlimited resources to draw on. If there is anything that you don't know how to do, if there is any decision that you don't even know where to begin to make that decision, you can actually look at it, look at the same decision from very different vantage point. You can lift, look at it from the point of view of someone who has already lived way beyond in the future and see if you make decision A, access the version of you that had made that point of view and see how that decision has affected your life, and whether you like that or not. And you can also go and look at the other option that you didn't take and go into the timeline of the person that made the other decision and then look at how that will play out when you can look at anything and everything from all different points of view, you will know that it actually starts to get fun. Because that gives you the ability to look past what is in front of you and be able to truly know what decision and what experience is behind that experience, is behind that decision. And that would allow you to make your choice even more intelligently. with everything that we are going through now, this actually is the best moment to exercise this, this ability of yours. So that you'll be able to find out what is the best thing that you can do for yourself today. 
right now in this moment. And I don't mean do, things that you do outwardly. It's also thoughts that you allow in your mind as well. Because the thoughts that you allow in your mind, the people that you allow in your space, all of that influence who you are and what you resonate with. They don't dictate, but they do influence. They can't dictate because if somebody in your space wants you to be a certain way with them, it really is just their preference. Don't let that be your requirement. If you like, you can play along with it. And if you don't like, then it is your choice. You are always in control. And this really is the most important thing to remember right now, especially now, is to really remember that you are always, always in control. Do not allow anyone to tell you that you have to do things because that's how it is. No, actually not. You're always in control. And if you don't like the reality that other people are presenting to you, then you need to choose. You need to choose how you want to be, who you want to be, how you want to respond. Those are the things that are always under your control. You may not be able to control what other people do or say, but you definitely can control how you react to what's in front of you. You can always choose to honor your own truth. To only pay attention to the things that resonate with you. And to stand your ground, not be persuaded by other people's reality. Because we each and every one of us are extremely powerful beings. That we are given the choice now. To create the future that we really want by choosing, by choosing this moment, by choosing who you are in this moment, by choosing how you feel in this moment. No matter what is playing out in front of you, you can always choose joy. You don't need for certain things to be present or certain people to be present in order to feel joy. Choose joy. Choose peace. No matter what is in front of you, choose the reality that you really want and hold and hold that vibration within yourself. Hold the vibration of yourself being free. No matter what is being presented 
in front of you. Hold the vibration of joy within yourself, no matter what is playing out in front of you, no matter what you see in, on the news, no matter what your neighbor's drama is about, no matter what other people in other parts of the world seem to be doing according to social media on the news. Choose the reality that you want and hold on to that vibration within you. Within you is the universe and you are the one that's going to create what it is that you hold true within yourself. The more you can hang on to joy, light, love, and really know that you and the universe are not separate. And that you are the most important observer. And what you hold true within you will come out and start to be reflected out into the world around you. It does not matter if your neighbor is suffering because they are in charge of their own reality, just as you are in charge of your, yours as well. And when you take charge and be in charge of creating your own reality from the inside out, you will stand out like a beacon in the wilderness of darkness. And other people will start to notice you. You can't help it. When they see your mastery, when they see how much you are able to create from within yourself, to be the master of your own domain. People will seek you out and they will want to know what your secret is. And that's when you can share with them. There's no need. There's no need to lecture the people around you. All you have to do is just be the master of your own creation. And when you can do that, people will come asking for your insights. You don't need to convince them. They'll back you because they'll see, they'll witness. All that you've been able to create for yourself So that is 
how you can actually help them is just by being the master of your own creation. And when you can master that, other people will want what you have. And then you can share. Right now, it may seem as though there is an imbalance because a lot of people have a very distorted idea of what life is about. Not everyone's life is about coming on earth, living in big mansions, and doing all the things that other people think of as being successful. That may be for some people, but not for everyone. It may be for you, and you are the only one who can decide that. What makes you happy? What is your purpose? Only you have the answer. Only you can tell whether you wake up each morning and be joyful and looking forward to being who you are, doing what you do. Let no one else dictate to you what your success should look like. Other people would have their own definition, and that's perfectly okay. Just know who you are and what works for you. And that's part of what mastery is about, knowing what works for you, knowing what it is that is within your heart that is so precious that you would wake up in the morning and do that. And it would sustain you throughout the day. And even if you don't get to have a good night's sleep, that fire that passion that is within you is still burning so brightly that the next morning you will be able to wake up again and joyfully go about your day. What is that for you? It is a good time and the right time to ask yourself, what is that for you? Now is the time to really get to know who you truly are and what you really want to create from within. Because when you can feel that, when you can absolutely feel that within your heart, and all you have to do is just let it out. And you know how to do that already. You don't need to take a class to be able to let what is within you out. That is something innate within you. And that is so innate that when you are a young kid, it's already there within you. Right now, all you have to do is go back. Go back to discover that unspoiled, unschooled, uncontaminated, true self, who you truly are and what really makes you happy. How do you really want 
your world to look like? Who do you really want in your life? How do you want to relate to all the people around you? Now is the time to connect with that diamond true self. That part of you has always been there and it was put there before you were born. It's already there. Now is the time. to get in touch with that part of yourself. And allow that part of yourself to shine, to just come out. And slowly transform the world around you to what you truly resonate with. And that is my wish for all of you, all ears who can hear this, all hearts who can feel this. This is what I wish for you. This is my gift for you all to be connected with your heart, to break through all those walls that you have been putting up to block out who you truly are. Now is the time to excavate and get back to your true self. It does not have to be a long process. It does not even have to be an arduous or painful process. All you have to do is to just be with who you are and really honor anything that is within you. Honor that. Allow that to shine forth and be your own beacon. Let your true, let your true self shine out. And the universe will conspire and do whatever it takes to help you realize that. And that is the gift of this moment. And it's only in this moment that you can find yourself. Don't try to find it in the past. Don't try to find it in the future. In this moment, That's where you truly are. And that's where you can truly shine. And start to remake your universe the way you want it to. Feel it. Trust it. For well, that is the purpose. That is the purpose of this playground. It's for you to remake it the way you want it to. With integrity, with love.
honoring the truth within you. And when you flow from that true self, the universe has no choice but to obey you. That is the message for this evening. That is the love that we have for you. We see that within you. And that is our promise to you. We send you love. We hold you in love. And we serve you in love. You yourself being cradled by the love of the universe. This is our gift for you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you for participating in this message. Thank you for connecting with this. This is the message that you have instructed us to give to you this evening. We love you very much.